Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program must accept the string ES containing the multiple words as the input and print the words until the word which has the maximum consonant count is reach and we have also given a note that if two or more words have same consonant count that is maximum consonant count means we have to consider the last occurring word so first we are going to accept the string yes containing multiple words as the input and print the words until the word which has the maximum consonant count is reached and we are also going to note that if two or more words have same maximum consonant count means we have to consider the last occurring word. So now we'll take our first test case. So in this test case, we have several words. So we'll mark the number of consonant in each word. So here it is one, here it is two, in your it is two, in transaction it is seven, in is it is one, and in successful it is seven, then in thank it is four, and in you we have one consonant. So now the maximum consonant count is seven, and the last occurring word is successful, which has the maximum consonant count. So we'll print up to successful and this will be our output. Now we'll take our another test case. So in this test case, we'll mark the number of the count of consonants in each word. So here it is 12, here it is 1, here it is 0 and here we have 6 and here it is 2. So we have reached the maximum consonant count in the first word itself. So we'll just print the first word. So this will be our output. Get clarifications for any program and clear your program errors effortlessly by using our Instagram page. Programming made simple here. We have mentioned our Insta ID in this video description. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the string yes. And then we have to find the last occurring word with the maximum count of consonants in it. So for that, we'll have the max consonant as minus one initially, and then we'll have a for loop to iterate over from the last so minus one comma minus one and then 
will have the condition that is if the count consonants of the s of index is greater than the maximum consonant means we'll change the maximum consonant as the count consonants of s of index and use that is in index is will be equal to the index so count consonants is an function we'll define it later so now after finding the end index we have to print from 0 to the end index so for that we'll have again a for loop from 0 to end index plus 1 we have plus 1 as it is exclusive and then we'll print the s of index and use end argument so now we'll define the function count consonants where we are going to pass the parameters are the parameters of the function count consonants are the word and here we have the count equal to zero and for the character in word if the character is an alphabet that is is alpha and if the character is not in a e i o u a e i o u that is if it is not vowel means we are going to increment the count by one and return the count so we'll execute our program let us pass our first test case and here we have got the correct output as successful as the maximum consonants i will pass our another test case so here also we have got the correct output that is the first occurring word with the highest count of consonants our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.